लॉन्ग नैरो हेड अ टेपरिंग मजल लार्ज आईज सेट बिटवीन द ब्रॉडेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द फेस एनेबलिंग अ टू हंड्रेड सेवेंटी डिग्री फील्ड ऑफ विजन a strong chest curved into a well tucked abdomen a long tail to emphasize an aerodynamic body well suited for massive strides while running the mudhol hound was carefully bred to be an excellent hunter so it can identify its prey it can run and catch the thing but since uh, hunting was banned in india so the utility of this particular breed went on declining by early 2000 this dog commonly found in north karnataka's bagalkot district was on the verge of extinction but in 2009 this center turned the fortunes around of not just a hound but also of this town after which the dog is named hound is largely found in north karnataka's bagalkote and vijayapura districts this dog made national headlines in 2018 when it became the first indian breed to be selected by the indian army in 2022 prime minister modi announced that the mudhol hound would be part of his special protection group The Indian Armed Forces recognized many unique qualities in the dog. Mudhol hound is called as a sight hound. Uh, this is a very good uh, breed which has a good surveillance. It can identify anything which even which has a very minute movement so which is not that particular or pronounced in other breeds of dogs. All of these qualities in a hound were thanks to this man. श्रीमंत राजा मालाजी राव घोरपड़े लेजेंड हैज इट दट दी अर्स्ट वाइल्ड राजा ऑफ मुधोल राजा मालाजी राव घोरपड़े लव हंटिंग ही क्रॉस ब्रेड द लोकल हाउंड विद द ग्रे हाउंड होपिंग टू कंबाइन द रिजिलियंस ऑफ द इंडिजिन स्पीशीज विद द स्पीड ऑफ द अदर दिस सिलेक्टिव ब्रीडिंग फॉर मेनी इयर्स रिजल्टेड इन द क्रिएशन ऑफ अ न्यू ब्रीड द मुधोल हाउंड Eventually this breed could run at a speed of 50 kilometers per hour. Their stamina kept them going for long stretches. The placement of its eyes and its 270 degree vision are great for hunting simply because its field of vision is wider. In the early half of the 20th century, mudhol hounds were popular hunting dogs for the rulers of the mudhol state. After independence the locals started to use these dogs for hunting but their numbers started to decrease when hunting was banned in 1972 By the 2000s the numbers had dwindled so drastically that some organizations believed that the breed was critically endangered Soon the government stepped in Karnataka Veterinary Animal and Fishery Sciences University came up with a proposal that so we are ready to take up an institution where we can breed this particular dog and we can uh, conserve this particular breed. So in 2009, with the government support and funding, so uh, KVFSU Bidar started this particular institution. The institute that Dr. Sushant Handage is referring to is the Canine Research and Information Center. It now has close to 40 mudhol dogs under its care. The center maintains a clearly defined bloodline of male and female parents to avoid inbreeding. Every year we sell around uh, uh, some 100 puppies. Uh, so uh, 100 puppies so on an average so we have an income of uh, 10 to 12 lakhs uh, per annum. 
Every day at 7:30 a.m., the hounds are released into this ground to stretch their legs. At 8:30, breakfast is laid out. Porridge made from egg, milk, and locally sourced millets awaits the hungry dogs. Surprisingly, the hounds are slow eaters. After a leisurely meal, the dogs rest in their enclosures. They are bathed every fourth day. At least 3 caretakers are needed to hold these dogs that are 74 to 80 cm long. A siesta follows. Silence engulfs the center. The dogs are again released for exercise at 5:30 p.m., which is immediately followed by a tasty dinner. So we need to conserve this particular breed because it has a very important characteristics when we compare to the foreign breeds and it can be reared at a very low cost of uh, maintenance i think this dog ne uh, needs to be conserved and uh, this institute is doing a lot of efforts in conserving the breed but that is not uh, sufficient so the people around also should come forward in a unique initiative the center has developed a program that places the hounds back in the hands of those who know them best the local community To increase the population of Mudhol hounds, the center scientists selected 244 farmers from the SCST communities and gave them pairs of Mudhol dogs, vaccines, and food for one year, all for free. They also trained them on best breeding practices. When the dogs grew and the breeding started. Uh, so the puppies which were produced from these uh, breeds were also uh, the sale or the marketing was done uh, through the institution this unique project was implemented under the scheduled caste sub plan and the tribal sub plan of karnataka the project ran successfully for 4 years from 2013 to 2017 most of the beneficiaries of this project are now successful mudhol dog breeders in bagalkote Yenkappa is one such farmer who received Mudhol hound puppies through this project. Even though he had Mudhol hounds in the past, they were all male puppies and were only used for hunting. But today, Yenkappa is a famous Mudhol hound breeder. His dogs have won many dog shows and championships across India. Now, paro the beta aadan kantile saike dir sariuna. ना बेटे अंत फस्ट आड़ी बेटे आड़ोदे बंद आयु बेटे कमी आदि बीडिंग मरी शो कड्डो ई ता स्टार्ट आयत सर मंदिर बीडिंग मे आंट्रद रे भाला हेल्प आगे सर इलेनमी सर साको अगदि केवल बड़ूरतान यार मरी तक तिंगी वन सल इपत् के जी फुड को सर अवक तक नायी वा इवन बेसरी मोदल नाय अंत मूर् पपीडीपी इंजेक्षन रेबीजु इवर इंजेक्षन हाई को सर रे नम मोदी सरप नम कुटम अदर मेले नड़ीते सर यह मग अद कोई बंद अमौंट तरतान नमी मोदल अरे नम नाक ईदार मकलदी ना गण मकल हमी मुंह नमी वो हद्न नाय मोदी यह हद् नाय ऊट हाकि नावे साली कल मकल साली अदर मेले कल्ती सर There are more than 800 farmers in Muthol who breed Muthol hounds now. Their combined efforts with the Crick has ensured a rise in the population of Muthol hounds from 200 to 1500. It has also helped the farmers lead a debt-free life. Tandey oru 40 years dinda ide breed anna ulskon bartha idare. Adhe riti naan start mari 90 nora 90 arinda naan martha idhen. यह नम सद जीवन इतर मेलगढ़ रही नम मोदल नई मेलगढ़ जीवन रही या सद नान एर मक कुबिटीन रही नम तम लग्न मी वो जग तोन रही मने कटीन रि आ मने कटी सहित बाडे मन वासमता रही या जग मोदल हे जास्ती बे रही जास्ती अरे वो चूर या वे हत सैट नड़ीये रि वो कनिष्ठ वो हत नाय रही नाक्रे गुंटे जगह अनुकूल आगत 
So if you look at uh, the German Shepherd, so it's called as a German Shepherd for the reason that it was being reared by the Shepherds. So Shepherds were using this particular dog for their protection, but later it got uh, so much promoted like a fancy breed that. So we can find the German Shepherd now throughout uh, the world. In the same way, Mudol Hound also is now uh, basically reared by the people who, are, who look for the farm management. So in this way, this particular breed is also gearing up more and more importance as a working dog and as a surveillance dog. This dog belongs to this particular area. And these are the people who are still conserving or preserving this particular breed. They feel that it is our dog and it, it has come from their ancestry. So they are keeping on, they are just breeding the dog, they are keeping this particular thing. But it is uh, our institution which is more promoting this uh, particular breed beyond the region where it has uh, come up. From.